revision it is basically made up of two words that is re and visit basically revisiting the same concepts the same formulas definitions questions again and again now a lot of you have made this very big mistake of not doing revision properly in your je preparation and if you do the same mistake as well for bitsat the result is going to be the same revision is very 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 important and one of the most important pillars to crack any exams especially bitsat नाउ ये जो वर्ड रिविजन है ना दिस हैज बीन डायल्यूटेड अ लॉट इसको इतने बार यूज कर लिया गया है कि इसकी वैल्यू जब हम सुनते हैं रिविजन को इट फील्स वेरी लेस बट ट्रस्ट मी रिविजन इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट देन कवरिंग योर सिलेबस बिकॉज इट्स टेक्निकली यूजलेस टू कवर योर सिलेबस इफ यू फॉरगेट एवरी थिंग दैट यू हैव स्टडीड प्रीवियसली लेट अस सपोज यू स्टडी फॉर थर्टी डेज एंड बाई द थर्टी एट डे यू कंप्लीट ऑल ऑफ योर सिलेबस बट इफ आई गिव यू कॉन्सेप्ट इफ आई गिव यू अ क्वेश्चन दैट यू हैव स्टडीड इन द वेरी फर्स्ट डे एंड इफ यू आर नॉट एबल टू सॉल्व दट what is the point of studying what is the point of syllabus coverage you just feel that you have covered all of the syllabus but you don't know anything except for the few chapters that you have done towards the end so if you want to crack bitsat if you want to do really really well in bitsat and not mess it up like j start doing revision from now onwards in an exam like bitsat whole syllabus कवरेज इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अनलाइक दैट ऑफ जेई जेई में तुम कम चैप्टर्स करके उसको इनडेप्थ करके भी काफी ज्यादा अच्छा स्कोर कर सकते हो बट इन बिट सेट यू कैनॉट डू दैट बिट सेट इज अ वेरी अनप्रेडिक्टेबल एग्जाम यू डोंट नो फ्रॉम विच कॉर्नर ऑफ द बुक बिट्स इज गोइंग टू फ्रेम द पेपर ऑफ बिट सेट देर इज नो प्रॉपर डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ वेटेज चैप्टर्स और एनी थिंग ऑफ दैट सॉर्ट anything could actually happen in your bit set ka paper that is why you need to know whole syllabus and to know whole syllabus you need to revise in a proper interval otherwise you won't be able to perform well in bit set and the result is going to be the same as that of j it is inevitable now that you know that revision is super super important let us discuss on how to actually do revision because most of the students actually don't know how to do revision they just randomly open a chapter and start studying in the name of revision they have no plans they have no ideas they have no resources and they actually don't know how to do revision so i'll tell you a step by step plan step by step resources on how to actually do your revision the very first thing is short notes now similar to revision the word short notes has also lost its value and has been diluted a lot but trust me it is the most important weapon that you have if you want a detailed video on how to actually make short notes do let us know in the comments we'll definitely make one for you but you'll have to make short notes if you're following the crash course by fodu club make short notes no need to make long long notes just make short short keywords wale notes so that you can revise the particular chapter in a very fast manner no need to waste a lot of time no need to waste a lot of time making notes you don't have that much time now ki abhi bhi notes banaoge to padhoge kab revise kab karoge don't be in the loop of making notes now now is the time that you should properly focus on studying and understanding the concepts and writing it down in a very short manner so that you can revise it frequently and in a very less amount of time so now what is short notes you need to have two kinds of short notes now a lot of students make this mistake of just making a formula ke short notes or concepts ke short notes but it is equally important to make questions ke short notes now you might think what is this questions ke short notes the questions which you stuck on jo tumhe nahi hote conceptually silly mistakes hoti hai make a separate short notes for that short mein suppose in a rotational motion it is given to calculate moment of inertia of a particular ring in a particular axis and you are not able to solve that particular question then in the short notes wala notebook write that particular question ring bana lo and short mein likh lo ki what was the problem why did you get stuck and make a short note for that particular concept and revise it in a regular interval so that not just the concepts not just the theory you also revise the questions together which is super super important because at the end of the exam you'll have to solve questions and not just remember the theory right trust me if you start making short notes of questions as well this is going to be a real game changer this thing has personally helped me a lot and a lot of students which i have guided and told them to do this thing they have improved a lot and ultimately scored exponentially high in the final bitsat paper than they were scoring in the mock tests the next thing after short note that comes is audio notes i haven't seen a lot of people talk about audio notes but let me tell you it is one of the most powerful tools that you can actually have it hardly takes 5 to 10 minutes to record audio notes in your own language especially for the things that you can't remember like in chemistry you cannot remember certain theories you cannot remember certain reactions reagents 
colors of different compounds names of different compounds you can make a short note of that suppose you have studied s block p block after completing the chapter just in your own word make 5 5 minute ke short notes whenever you are taking a break just put on your earphones start it and listen to your audio and keep visualizing as you hear your own voice and this is a very powerful tool subconsciously everything goes into your brain and it actually helps you a lot to remember all of the concepts and different parts of theory that you struggle in remembering so short notes along with audio notes is a killer combination if you want to do revision other than this a third and the most important type of short notes that you should maintain is mistakes ka short notes a lot of students come to me and they say bhaiya i do a lot of silly mistakes in my mock tests i have done a lot of silly mistake in my je main ka actual paper i could have scored a lot of marks if i would have not done those particular silly mistakes and how to deal with those silly mistake is by making a log of the mistakes that you do on a daily basis suppose on a daily basis you do around 10 mistakes if you ignore those 10 mistakes and do not remember them the chances of you repeating those same mistakes again is much much higher on the other hand if you maintain a notebook of those mistakes just like short notes write in a very short manner that what mistake that you have done what silly mistake that you have done suppose a silly mistake like 3 cube equal to 9 bahut log ye mistake karte hain if you have done this if you just see it and ignore it the chances of you repeating it in the actual paper is much higher on the other hand if you write it down revise the mistakes ka notebook every day for 5 to 10 minutes before sleeping and after waking up you'll remember it and next same thing appears in front of you you will not do that mistake again so start doing this let's say you have around 25 days left for bitsat 30 days left for bitsat you'll have at least 300 to 400 mistakes ka log and if you actually revise it daily you will not do those mistakes again in the paper this again has helped me personally and a lot of students that i have recommended to do it in our foru club ka crash course hundreds of students are doing this one particular thing and because of this they are not doing the same mistakes and they are doing new mistakes every single time which is perfectly fine and they are learning from those new mistakes and again adding the mistakes ka notebook and ultimately improving their score mock by mock and they're getting ready to face the final exam the next particular thing that you'll have to do while you do revision is solve those questions again which you have marked while solving questions if you still do not mark the questions or keep a note of those questions which you were not able to solve while attempting the questions you're doing a very big mistake so that is why you need to start marking the questions properly and when you do revision particularly revise and solve those questions again which you were not able to solve during the first round when you were solving those questions other than this the best way to do revision is by giving chapter wise tests chapter wise tests is a perfect way to analyze yourself whether or not you have actually done that chapter properly or not when you give a chapter wise test there's a timer running and you are under pressure solving all of those questions and you actually get to know whether you actually remember those concepts or not or whether you can actually solve the questions in a timed manner or not again in the foru club crash course you get chapter wise tests and all of the students are following this strategy of giving chapter wise test and then whatever mistakes they are doing in the chapter wise tests they are going again back in the concepts their short notes audio notes revising those particular things again which they have forgot and in this manner they are able to do revision in a very efficient way they do not have to read every single topic they do not have to revise every single concept that they have studied but only those particular concepts and topics which they have forgotten and which they think they need to revisit again last and the most important thing is these were all the resources and how you should do revision because in a normal day all of our time goes into watching lectures of the crash course solving the dpps solving the book when should we actually do revision how should we actually do revision so for that you should have a particular time slot of 1 to 1.5 hours from in which you will do revision of the previous chapters now the resources that i have mentioned to you if you make those resources properly and follow those resources properly it will actually consume a lot less time to do revision and you will do revision like this if you leave a lot of gap after covering a particular chapter and revision obviously you will forget a lot of things but if you keep that duration short around 3 to 4 days and revisit your short notes audio notes mistakes ka notes it will hardly take half an hour to revise a particular chapter what you can also do is in a day you can cover two subjects properly jo bhi naya syllabus you will have to cover 
and you can keep the third subject as your revision subject and revise all of those chapters which you have done previously this will help you maintain a proper synergy between all of the three subjects suppose you are studying physics and chemistry properly through the crash course watching lectures solving dpps solving other materials and for the maths part you are just giving chapter wise tests and revising through your short notes audio notes mistakes ka book and the star mark questions so this is a perfect way to plan out your revision now this was all about revision now before you do revision it is very important for you to study properly from a proper resource now bitsat ke liye kahan se pad sakte hain fodu club has the best crash course for it where you get recorded lectures of 1 to 1.5 hours mock test series specially designed by bitsians themselves chapter wise tests dpp exclusive previous year questions which you won't get anywhere else on the internet exclusive weekly bi weekly mentorship sessions so this crash course has everything that you need to crack bitsat 2025 now this was all about revision lekin revision karne se pehle padhna bhi to important hai na now if you are not studying from a proper resource revision is basically useless now i am tired of telling you about the crash course every single time because all of the serious students who are preparing for bitsat and are serious enough about bits pilani have already joined the fodu club ka crash course they are working every single day watching the lectures solving the dpps chapter wise tests giving mock test attending the mentorship sessions and are ready to conquer bitsat if you want to be one of them and want to know more details about this crash course you can click here and watch this video wish you all the very best sath mein fodenge